today. It's a little Oldsmobile Cutlass. We're gonna be putting a disc brake upgrade kit on the front, coil overs. We're gonna be fitting it for the bigger wheels. Got to go into the rear end, do a uh, little posi unit, put a gear in it. Super nice car. But we're going to get it fitted, get everything set up for the disc brakes. Get the front suspension done. We got to do a little tuning on it. Just got to get it run a little bit better. Just stay tuned for this. And like I said, we're going to show how we get everything fit and get all the front end put together. Y'all stay tuned. All right, so we got the front brake kit on. Pretty straightforward. I do like to always try to put the factory brake line bracket back on, or at least make it make it hold back in place. It drives me drives me crazy if you don't. But got our new coilovers installed. All we gotta do is bleed the brakes, get it on the ground, set the suspension, then we'll be done in the front. Then we gotta move on to the master cylinder and get it set up. All right, so we got a new mass cylinder installed. Basically, these kits come with, they come with this line kit here. You just pretty much bolt it up and it gives you an adjustable proportion about right here. You just do away with the original one. Uh, one thing to remember on these things is on the, the rod that goes in the back of this, usually they come, they'll bolt right up. You don't have too many issues, but you just need to make sure you check the length of the, the engagement for the rod on the back of the booster because sometimes you'll run into problems where it could be a little bit too short, it could be a little bit too long. But other than that, it's pretty much simple install, just bolts right on. We went ahead and redid the lines just because it had some had some lines that was leaking, but so we just went ahead and put some new lines and stuff on it, bled everything out. So we're getting ready now. We'll get it set on the ground, go get it ready for a test drive, see if we can get everything situated and get everything, make sure everything's working the way it needs to. All right, so we're getting everything tore down, getting ready to cut the rear end. Remount the coil over and get the brakes mounted on it. So he's got the housing. Just kind of show you we got everything marked right there. Just got the calipers hanging. Basically, this is this is going to stay. We're going to cut and basically lose this section right here. And then we also we've already had to move it. You can't really tell now, but this originally sits over here. So we relocated the shock bracket the inside a little bit. Same thing on this side, I have to relocate this shock bracket. All right, so we got the rear end torn down. He's cleaning up now. We're getting ready to change the carrier and the gear. We're gonna go ahead and put all new bearings and everything in it. You see, we got all the races knocked out of it and everything. We already got the axle housing shortened. Let's see if you can look up in there and see it. Got a lot of dirt in there. We got the coilovers remounted. He said, we're going to go ahead and get the rear end built and set up. Get the new ring and pinion put in it. We're going to put a posi in it, too. That way, both tires will spin on this one. So I'll show you the stuff that come out of it in just one second. All right, so here's all his old stuff. As you can see, it's kind of a big highway gear, which is kind of normal for this year car. Honestly, they put real tall gears in them just because they're three-speed transmission but it's 256 gear just to open diff you can see not pause or anything that's what come out of it we're gonna put put a posi carrier in it 
I think we're going to do a 342 gear, which is not too crazy, but just kind of keep it, keep it kind of street friendly. And then most people don't know, but like on an Oldsmobile Pontiac, the rear end, the axles are actually different. So most like your Chevrolets and stuff like that, they don't have a bearing that's pressed onto the axle like a Ford normally does, but like the BOP axles is what they call them. They actually have a bearing pressed on them. That way, you, when you actually bolt in, you actually it actually bolts in like a Ford style axle. But so we got new axles for it. We're gonna put new gear and new posi in it. Hopefully that'll pick it up a little bit. Did a little tear the concrete up? Yeah, I had them fall out before. I wish I had to. Heavy. Josh had that one fall out, man. Oh, up there on the floor up there. Took the whole drain pan out. Yeah. TKO. I like them other shims way better now. One piece deal? Yeah, I don't like them. I used, I used to like these better. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. All these big payments and shit they got, you know? Mm -hmm. Just like Brad. Yeah, all them trucks and stuff. I can imagine that fuel. Mm -hmm. You got three, four trucks now. Huh? Perfect, man. Look at that. Yeah, that's good. You can get no better than that. Mm -hmm. That's got a good contact patch, too. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. All right, so we got the rear end buttoned up. Like I said, we just put a posi in it gear, and then we went ahead and upgraded the rear brake kit while we had it apart. It's just a wheelwood kit. It's pretty simple, just bolts on, kind of like the factory. Bolts up to the factory back in plate, so it's not really too big of a job. But all we gotta do now is just get the fluid in it, get everything topped off, and we'll move on to something different. All right, so we got her finished up. That's the final stance right there. I think it turned out really good. Just gotta finish some things so we can test drive. We still don't have a hood on the car, so we can't really leave it out here too long, but wanted to show y'all what it looked like finished up, but got the rear all cut and done. Said it's tucked. It's got the Willwood brakes on the back, coilovers on the back. Actually on this one, didn't have to do any notching. You can actually fit a pretty good size wheel and tire under the back of these, so. So we got lucky and didn't have to do any frame notching or anything serious on the back of it. Just some adjustable arms. Same thing kind of on the front. Got the front wheel wood brake kit. Got them all set up and adjusted. We actually put coilovers on the front too. 
and uh, change just put a stock style upper control arm on it. We ain't drove it yet to test drive. We gotta gotta finish some tuning. It's got an EFI system on it, so it's gotta get tuned so we can we can do a little bit of driving. But, but I just want to let y'all see what it looks like finished up. But there she is right there. Turned out really nice. So y'all stay tuned for the next video.